The future of IGF, I think we learned many lessons, you know, since Athens to now, and I hope the next five years, if, if it's going to be approved, you know, the mandate of IGF to be extended, um, I hope uh, the format will, will, will reinforce uh, participation, uh, more participation from, from um, developing countries and uh, more uh, fragmentation of, of, of the topics according to, you know, the needs, you know, the need eventually will rise to have, you know, new issues and there should be, you know, a room to tackle new issues or we should be always open to bring on to the discussion anything um, new in the ICT field and in internet governance um, in general. Um, uh, the way I see it evolving, um, I really expect uh, the discussion to be fruitful, you know, as it is now in Lithuania. I mean, the first IGF were just trying to, you know, uh, extend and elaborate on the issues and the main themes. And every year we saw a new theme added on the discussion and, um, you know, uh, it gives you, you know, an idea what's happening at the global uh, level. Obviously, uh, the IGF as well um, is a process that helped um, tremendously in, in um, establishing local IGFs as well. We don't need to forget that we have now uh, a more special uh, IGF edition which are being held at the local level, at the regional level, and obviously new regions are, you know, uh, to be added um, in the future as well. Um, and uh, there will be more concentration on what people actually care for at the local level and at the regional level. And obviously the global discussion is, is always important. I mean, it's nice to be involved at the regional level because you concentrate on the issues that are mostly relevant to you, uh, but then you need to stay in the loop as well when it comes to the global, um, the global um, level as well.